is rekindling the fire within. And it was so funny. I messaged Jeff and he said, that's the name of the revival. So I knew it was my confirmation yeah. right there. Yeah. If you will turn with me to Leviticus chapter 6. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lord. Start with verse 8. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night until the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garments, and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh. Take up the ashes which the fire hath consumed. With the burnt offering on the altar, he shall put them beside the altar. And he shall put off his garments and put on the other garments and carry forth the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning Come and lay the burnt offering. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar and it shall never go out. Let's pray. Father never God, go I thank you for this opportunity. Yes, I thank you for your spirit that I feel. Oh, Father, I pray that you anoint me. Make me the very vo vocal of God. Yes. Lord, I pray that your spirit will come out of me and you will open the hearts and the minds of your people to receive the word that you have given me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful for this opportunity, and I'm just thankful for what this revival has held so far. You know, uh, I'm humbled and honored that Pastor Jeff asked me. But, you know, we want revival. We look at revival as a time of high emotion and life-changing services. But for this to happen, revival must begin in the lives of us, in our individual walks with God. True revival is the renewal of our spirit. Yeah. Most of us that have come to the knowledge of Jesus begin our new walk excited. You might say on fire for God, but yeah. what happened in our lives? What Come has on. happened? Yeah. As we travel down the road of life through our flame has been weakened with the worries of the world, and maybe for some it has even gone out. Being passionate for God involves rekindling the spiritual fire within you. Draw nigh, God, draw nigh to God, and he said he will draw nigh to you. Yeah, he will. Do you remember when God was first calling you into the body of Christ and how exciting it was to learn the truth? We couldn't get enough of church. We couldn't read enough of our Bible. Yeah, we were just so excited yeah. to get into the presence of God. We repented when we done wrong. Where has that gone? Amen. Rekindle means to bring back to life, to stir yeah. the embers. In this case, it means to revive and bring back to spiritual life, to yeah. excite, stir up, or rouse anew, to cause it to burn again. We get burnt out sometimes in our walks with the Lord. Burnout is a psychological term that refers to long-term exhaustion and diminished interest in work. If you let the enemy play with you long enough, you're going to get burnt out. Amen. If you keep listening to the lies of the enemy, if you keep feeding into what he's telling you, you're going to get burnt out. Exhaustion is a key component to burnout. Webster's Dictionary says, if exhaust is to drain metaphorically to use or expand wholly or till the supply comes to an end yeah. to deprive wholly of strength to use up to weary or tire out to tire out to wear out as to exhaust one strength patience or resources it says the enemy has come to steal kill and destroy and that's exactly what he wants to do Paul wrote to Timothy, For this reason I remind you to fan the flame, the yeah. gift of God which is yeah. in you. Yeah. It is time to fan them into the full flame again. It's time to rekindle the flame and be reunited. The fire of the Holy Spirit in us keeps us safe from the many dangers looming around us, but also keeps us falling into sin. If you are sinning and, and you don't feel that conviction, it is time to get right with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. The time that you come, that you will feel convicted. You will feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you. But I tell you tonight, if you don't feel that, you need to check your flame. Your flame may be feeling a little bit. Your flame may be getting a little down. It's time that we check ourselves, say, man, in the body of Christ. We have gone to the time that we are slapping. We are laying down. Yeah. And it's time that the army of Christ rise up. Yeah. And we do what the Holy Spirit has called us to do. And it's time that we go in the highways and the byways. Yeah. And we command in the heavens. It's time that we shine the light and we stop acting like the world. We stop doing the things of the world. And we get on fire for God once again. Amen. Therefore, we must be 
careful to not let sin quench the fire of the Holy Ghost in us. If you sin and notice that the fire of the Holy Spirit in you is dimming, remember that God will always be willing to revive you as long as you are willing to admit your errors and forsake them. So many times we get pride on us and we and we and we look at us like, oh, I don't do anything wrong. But you know that is when we're falling into sin. We're falling into temptation. You know, we make mistakes, but it's for the blood of Jesus that we can come and we can ask for forgiveness and He will forgive us. Amen. Yeah, will. Hallelujah. In the natural fan the flame means to intensify or to stir up feelings. Um from a spiritual perspective, flame or fire symbols light. Symbolize the nation of Israel as a light to the nations in Isaiah 42 and 6. The light being an illuminating source signifies a mission to reach the world without using force. But by setting our lives as examples, not by, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Holy passion. A zeal, a driving, an inner God's presence. You know, coming to church once and twice a week ain't going to cut it. It's not going to cut it anymore. We have to be in the Word of God. We have to be praying. We have to study to show ourselves approved. Amen. Because time is ticking. Time is ticking. And will you be left here? Will you be, uh, you know, crying out and spare yeah. not? It is time that you get our lives in order. God is yeah. sounding out a warning. He is sounding out a yeah. warning to these people. I'm coming. I'm coming. Get ready. I'm yeah. coming. You have to be on fire for me. You have to do my will. Because what if you're not? What if you're sitting and you're left here? Amen. That is something that you have to think about. What am I doing when Jesus comes? Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Regardless of whether we're talking about literal burning fire or fire in its spiritual symbolic sense, there are at least three fundamental principles that are common to both. Both need fuel, the word of God in our spiritual yeah, life. Yeah, That's our fuel. Yeah, yeah. If you remove the fuel, the fuel, it's going to go out. Yeah. If you don't quit, if you quit reading, uh -huh. you're going to slack. If you quit praying, you're going to slack. Amen. Yeah. It's a relationship. Yeah. It's a day-to-day -day walk. Yeah. Come on. If it's left to itself, the natural tendency of any fire is to go out. Amen. If you feel like the fire in you is only a small flicker you, and you have the loss, the zeal, or the fire that you had previously, it's important to know that you can always fan it back into a roaring flame yeah, once yeah, again. Yeah. Reignite to catch fire or cause to catch fire again. Revive to activate, set in motion, or take up again to restore to life or consequences. Repurpose, adapt for use in a different purpose. Reproduce, to produce again or anew by a natural process to reproduce a severe branch revive to view look at or look over again and to rekindle kindle fire to relight a fire revive something that has been lost you need some reviving tonight maybe you're slacking in some areas god is here to reignite the fire you know as children of god we have a fire in the inside of us amen and we have to get that reignited if you're slacking tonight Maybe in just a little area and you're getting caught off guard a little bit. He is here to help you. Amen. He is here to reignite that fire in you once again. So you can go forth and do the will and the plan he has for you. Because you sit here on Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, whenever your services isn't going to cut it anymore. It's not going to cut it anymore. It says go into the highways and into the byways and compel them to come in. Compel means to draw, to get attention, to get them to come. If you're there like the word on Saturday and coming in on Sunday, they're not going to want to be a part of what you're having to do. Amen. You have to be the light. It says we are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be dimmed. Amen. Some ways that we have to rekindle the fire daily in our lives is meditate on the word. Yeah. Stay in tune in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. We have to pray fervently. You know, just praying to, oh, Jesus, bless. I ain't going to cut it anymore. Amen. We have to seek God with our whole hearts before he can fully uh, speak to us in a clear manner. Amen. We have to worship the Lord with all our heart. Heart service and mouth service are two different things. And sometimes I feel like we get, and, and talking about myself, we get in a ritual. You know, we're like, praise the Lord, I saw the light. You know what I mean? 
but you have to get where you're like, Lord, I'm here with my mistakes. I'm here with my brokenness. You take me and you use me as you have called me to do. Can you help the sinners to see that you through me is the one that was working through me, Lord? You, not me, not flesh, but you, Jesus. Amen. We have to fast. That's one we don't like. Amen. Fasting is a part of the fire to feel the Holy Spirit. It's a voluntary tribute to the Lord. And it's an important part of our walks with yes, God. Yeah. Allow the Holy Spirit to move. You know, sometimes I feel like we get in a rush. We quench the Holy Spirit sometimes. Sometimes, like Jeff says, he just wants to come. He wants us to pray. Sometimes he wants us to sing all night. Sometimes he wants us to worship. But most importantly, he wants that word to get down on the inside. Amen. He says, write the word on the tablets of your heart. Make your fire useful. Go out into the highways and the byways. That's what I keep hearing in my spirit when I've been praying all week. It's what are we doing? What are we doing for the lost? What are we doing out here in the world? We come to church and we do it seven days a week, however many times. But uh, when he judges you, it ain't going to be on how much you went to church. Yeah. Amen. It's going to be if you had a true relationship. If you were showing Jesus. If you yeah. were telling the sinner to come in. Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We have to connect with spirit-filled people. You do not want to be with dead, dried-up people. Yeah. Amen. You're not going to get anywhere with being with dead and dried-up people. They're not going to get you anywhere. Amen. You have to remove the ashes from the fire. Sometimes we need a little sweeping going on in our hearts. We need a little sweeping. God has to come in sometimes and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. You got to do that better, you know. And that comes with seeking his face fully. Amen. The fire will die out, die out if the ashes are not removed. Ashes are the result of burning. You get ashes when you offer up burnt offerings to the Lord. It is normal. Just learn to remove it. Don't allow it to accumulate. Yeah. Don't allow your sins to keep accumulating yeah. until you're just back in sin yeah. again. Don't yeah. let the sins begin to accumulate where you can't hear the voice of God. Yeah. Don't let the sins accumulate where you can't come to church because the enemy has you so bound down in your mind. You have to take notice and say, no, nah, devil, I am a child of the most high God. You can't have me. You can't have my family. And I put the blood of Jesus over you. Amen. We are bound to face disappointment and discouragement. When working with people, there will be conflicts and misunderstanding. The question is, what are you going to do with the ashes? If you keep the ashes, your fire will suffocate. If you keep leaving, uh, listening to Nancy, negative Nancy's, your fire is going to dindle down. If you keep listening to the enemy, your fire is going to dindle, dindle down. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel the Lord. Yes. Amen. You have to supply the fuel. Proverbs 26 and 20. For lack of wood, the fire goes out. The fuel of prayer, the fuel of the word, and the fuel of ministry. And I feel like so many times, and nowadays in the body of Christ, we're lacking all three. We don't read the word, we don't pray, and we're not doing true ministry. Amen. Set your heart and attention on the things above with purpose. Remember the thrill of being in the Lord's presence. You've tasted and witnessed God's goodness. Yeah. You have sensed His presence. Yeah. Now live your life on fire for God. Amen. Yeah. Once you've tasted the Lord, you can't deny Him. Amen. Yeah. He will come in. If you're on the right track, He will come. And He'll stir that gift in you a little bit. If you're dindling down, He'll stir on the inside. Uh, you know, I've been in a place, and this is my testimony here in the last few months. I've, I've sat down and I'm like, Lord, am I am I worthy enough to do this? But he's like, come on, I put that calling in you. I put that anointing in you. It's time to arise. I'm telling somebody on here tonight, it's time that you get up and you quit laying in your pity party and you get up and you get to what God has called you to do. It's time that you blow that fire inside of you. It's time that you get up out of that pool and you quit dwindling in your ashes. But you remove the ashes and you begin to do the work of the Lord. He's tired of us sin time and time again and not doing his work. He's tired of our cries and our pity parties. He just wants us to praise and worship him. He just wants us to do what he's called us to do. Amen. coming out of love and coming out of, of hate, you know, or yeah. anger. This is from the Lord. I believe the Lord gave me this word, and I'm doing it out of love. I don't yeah. want that to, you know, somebody to misunderstand that. Uh -huh. But it's time that we just, we get up and we get what God has called us to do. Amen. Amen. 
he's, he's speaking all these nights. I hear him just a little bit in the sermon. Do what you got to do. Amen? Amen. I feel like he's, he's, he's bringing a remnant together for this end time. And I believe that he's going to shake the nation. I believe that if we can get his people together, I believe that he's going to set revival through the nation. But we have to be willing. We have to be willing vessels. Amen. I believe God is lighting the fire of his work again in these end times. He's using ordinary people all yeah. over the world. Answer yeah. God's call. Be a part yeah. of that. Rekindle the fire in your heart. Yeah. Say yes, Lord. I get your, I get, you get my yes. You get yeah. my okay, God. Wherever you want to send me, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Here I am, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Send me, amen. Like that song says, it says, if it's a foreign battlefield where I finally find your will, that's where I long to be. Yeah. On a desert without a drink. On old shore, old sun ship about to sing. That's where I long to be. Speak the word, Lord. My ears long to hear you. Amen. Speak the word, Lord. My heart aches to know. Speak the word, Lord, and I'll do what you call me to do. And I'll be what you have me to be. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to say in conclusion tonight, if you need some rekindling, if you need some refreshing, God is right here. I feel his presence yeah. so strong yeah. up here. Yeah. If you need yeah. just a refreshing of the word, he is here. Yeah. It's never too late to get back on fire. You know, the devil will come and he'll try to say, it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. God don't want to use you. But God said, come to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in that rest, I pray that he will rekindle the flame in you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He'll rekindle the fire. Yeah, That's just yeah. tonight as a people of God. It says that two or three are gathered yeah. in my name. I'll be in the midst. And he's yeah. sure in the midst. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So let's rekindle that fire. Yeah. Let's get back on fire for God. And yeah. let's be in the highways and the byways compelling them to come. Because they're never going to know unless we're that light. Yeah. Amen. We've got to show what Christians are. Because in the, in the days we're living in right now you see all this all this professing to Christ, you know, love, 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 and all this. But God, God is showing his true people who he is. And I believe that he's trying to show his remnant of people who he truly is. He's trying to rekindle the fire once again between his remnant of people. Amen. Amen. Amen.